Hey, what's up everybody, Victor Freak here, and it's time for another drawing tutorial. So, today, we are not drawing a Pokemon. No, this is going to be, so far, my second non-Pokemon related drawing tutorial on this channel, so far. And our very first non-Nintendo related drawing tutorial, as you can see by the thumbnail and title of this video, we are doing an Undertale episode, and we are drawing Asriel. So, I'm sure you just saw the spoiler warning, so if you haven't finished, um, if you haven't at least completed, completely completed, the true pacifist run, I suggest that you leave immediately because huge spoilers are on its way in this video. So, if not, let's get on with this video. So, Undertale is definitely one of my favorite games of all time, easily. And one of my favorite characters, or if not the, or if not, not sorry, if not my favorite character, um, is Asriel. And... My favorite form of Asriel is when he's a kid, because there's so much story that was happening when you first met him, and also towards the ending, mostly. But I just thought, I felt really bad for him when we have to leave him by the flowers. So that just hit me hard. But the uh, kid Asriel is not um, the form that we are drawing. Uh, we are drawing the... Uh, Asriel that you see in the first phase of his battle, not the whatever you call final Asriel. I don't know what I don't remember what it's called, but we're just drawing the first um, version. No, technically it's the second, but the first version of Asriel that um, you see when you fight him. So yeah, and I have a reference here. I'll show it up here. This is the reference. But, this is pixelized, and we don't have an official drawing of Asriel. At least, I think there aren't any official drawings of Asriel that's not pixelized. So, we're gonna have to improvise, and we're gonna have to kind of make it up as we go. And we're going to have to improvise and use our imagination while drawing, because... Yeah, also, um, same goes with color. We're gonna have to imagine what Asriel would look like with color. Mostly the robe that he's wearing. Um, I'm assuming that it's gonna be purple. Some people draw it differently. Some people draw it black. Some people draw it purple, bluish purple. Um, I prefer the purple look on it. A little more purple than, as um, than Toriel's dress. But anyway... Here are the tools that you'll need. We are drawing Asriel with color pencils today, not markers. So, you're gonna need your pencil, of, um, as always, uh, eraser and outliner, as always. And here are the colors that you will need. Um, you're gonna need a gray, you're gonna need a yellow for the necklace-ish thing. I'm pretty sure it's a necklace, yeah, it's a necklace. Um, yeah, so we'll need uh, yellowish gold for the necklace, as well as red for the heart on the necklace, because I'm assuming that's the color it would be, but I don't know, maybe it's white, maybe it's gold, who knows? And we're gonna need four shades of purple. So, we will need a very light bluish purple, which is for the um, we're gonna be using this to fill in the pattern on the robe, and we also need, um, hold on a second, which one was which? Um, I'm not quite sure, but I remember that these are the colors that you need. Anyway, um, you're gonna need a light a very bright purplish color. Oh, that's right. This, um, the, uh, not quite bright, but a pinkish purple will be for inside his mouth. 
and then two purples, two dark purples, one uh, dark purple and a dark purple that's even darker than the last um, for the robe. And the darker purple will be inside um, the circle-ish thing, but we'll be filling in the patterns with the light purple. I don't know, it might be a little confusing, but you'll see as I go on. All right, let's get on with drawing Asriel. So, Asriel, the stance that, um, as you saw in the reference, this is the um, stance that Asriel will be in when he's not um, shaking his head from side to side, um, which is what you see when you fight him. So yeah, that's what we're doing. I feel like it's a pretty iconic look on him. So, right. So, Asriel has a very big robe, but most of his body is the robe. So we'll just start with the head and then we're going to do a large, a long rectangle um, underneath it. So the head is not that big actually. About that big, I'd say. And we'll just make a square, I'd say up here actually. And we go down all the way here. Yeah, it seems about right, I'd say. All right. And we have the, um, I don't really know what you call it, but the frill sort of thing that goes over um, your neck um, at the back of your head. I'm not sure what you call it, but we'll just draw that on here. Something like that. And there's another thing coming out, which I'm not quite sure what it is because it's pixelized, but you know, it looks good. I think it's just something to make it look cool. I'm not quite sure. All right, and now we're gonna add in the arms. So the arms are kind of around here. So we'll just draw an oval like this. Maybe a little longer. And another one going back up. And the hand. Okay, it seems I haven't quite drawn Asriel in the middle of the page, but oh well, it doesn't really matter, not that big of a deal. All right, and we'll just make the, um, the robe dress thing become a little bigger as we go down. Add in some feet. Maybe it's a little too long. Yeah, it's a little long. We're gonna shorten it up a bit. And we'll add in some feet. Yeah, that seems pretty good, I think. And so now we can... Um, a little more detail to it so we'll start with the head so with the head we got horns coming out from both sides so here is um it's from here that we have to start improvising so we want to make it a little more realistic i think that's the word it's not quite realistic but you know what i mean we have to make we have to improvise And we're gonna put some 
gonna all right so i'll just tell you what's gonna happen and then i'm gonna go on without speaking so we're gonna put on the ears like here like this somewhat and put in the shape of the head put some um fur coming out of the top like that and i think we might leave the face for later Okay, that's looking good. And now let's add in the proper shape of the robe and dress and the frill at the back. So, yeah, it's pretty much what we already have, except um, put a bit more detail. So that there really isn't much to do that, um, is, that needs to be explained, really. Um, so we're gonna do the frill here thing whatever this thing is um part of the rub as well and the arms and hands so there really isn't much to say here Okay, looks pretty good for now, and so, yeah, I, sh I think I should have mentioned it before that um, I was gonna make the feet, make it look a bit more like paws, but um, otherwise, yeah, so now, um, let's just put in the triangle, the same shape of the frill except inside it. Hmm, looks like I missed something, but um, looks like I didn't notice that the frill actually goes all the way down past the ear, or just around 
the bottom of the ears. Alright, so now I think we're good to move on to the, let's see, um, let's move on to the necklace, I'm just gonna make, wait first I'll make the um, rope go back up a little, as the, um, move in towards the head as it goes back up a little more. There we go. That looks a little better. Alright, so as I was saying, now I think we can do the necklace and we'll do the pattern on the robe. Uh, so, let's see, we'll start with the necklace. So, with the necklace, just um, a f like about, I'd say, a centimeter underneath the head, put in the heart. Alright, that seems good. And we'll put in the chains as well. So with the chains, um, from the uh, pixelated um, image that I have here, um, you can see that the chain uh, looks like it will just be circles like this. Um, but we're not quite sure. It's very difficult. So, um, and it seems like the circles are quite a bit spread out. So, um, I'm not quite sure. We'll just, you know, we'll make circles, except they'll be touching each other like this. Like that. That's good. Alright. And we'll do the pattern on the robe. So around here, put in, it's not, it's kind of like a heart shape. Um, it's, I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to resemble, the shape of it and the shape um, inside. You kind, um, the, pat the shape inside, it kind of looks like angel wings, kind of looks like Navi in a way from Legend of Zelda. Mm, but I'm not quite sure. So this is kind of a heart shape-ish. Like this. Seems about right. And... Put another layer over it. Because inside here we'll be coloring it in light purple. That looks right. And so, put a circle here, like so. And when I meant as in, uh, it looks like Navi. So it's got wing-ish things, like here, on each side. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be wings. Alright, seems about right. And underneath it, there are three triangles. So, we'll do the one at the very bottom first. So, just around here. Make a triangle. And then on top of it, so we'll like this. It's facing. So, the two triangles on top of it are facing up. 
I'm not sure what this is supposed to mean. We'll move it a little more, actually. And make it a little bigger as well. Okay. So now all we got to do is do the face. And then we should be good to move on with the outlining. So with the face... We will need to start... Um, wait, no, sorry. So with the face, um, one eye is open, the other is closed. So the eyes are very narrow, it's kind of like... I think we'll draw the eyes like... Uh, it's very hard to tell what they kind of look like. You know what? We'll make it look like this. No. Hold on. Oh my god, I'm sorry. This is very... Hold on. What would look well on Asriel? Maybe like this? That seems about right. We'll just see what happens when I try drawing them on first. So... First, let's just let's keep this line. That seems good where the eyes would be. So draw the eyes right underneath those um this line. So let's see. So obviously one eye is open. The uh the eye that is left to us is open, and the right to us is closed. So we don't really need to worry about the closed one. It's mostly the open one. So would. Let's just see what works. Nope. Alright, I'll tell you when I found something that works. Alright, I think I found something that works. So, we'll just go with this. If you can't see very well, um, I'll draw a bigger one down here. So it basically just looks like this. Like that, pretty much. So, yeah, I think that looks alright. And we'll add in the eyebrows. So he's raising the eyebrow on this eye. And the other eye is closed. And this one is a little more flat, this eyebrow. I think I might make the head a little smaller. So, um, make the chin a little pointier, maybe. Yeah, like that. And so, now we'll put in the marks that he has on his um, face. So, so Around here, he has these marks that are curving and going towards his eye. Like that. And now we'll draw... Now, this is probably going to be the hardest part in drawing the mouth and the nose. So, considering that this is a goat, um... It's very hard to tell from the um, pixelated art, but I'm guessing that the nose... Hold on, what would it look like? I'm gonna have to experiment to see what would look best on it. Um, so I think first we'll just draw the mouth, see how that turns out. So, we got those... I'm not quite sure. They're kind of like fangs, except it's not actually inside the mouth. It's kind of weird, but whatever, I guess. Um, it works. So, we'll just see how this turns out. Okay, that looks very strange. Um, how do we do this? Let's see. 
Hmm, think. How can we make this look good? Alright, I'm just gonna experiment a little more, see what works, and then uh, you'll see when I found something that looks good on him. Alright, I think we'll just have to go we'll have to go with this one now. I think it doesn't look that bad. So Yeah, I think we can leave it at this. Just put two little lines for the nose. And this is what we have for the mouth. It looks a little odd, but that's what Asriel looks like, I guess. So yeah, maybe we could put a little dot in his eye. Yeah, I think that's good. Alright, so for now that's pretty much it with a pencil, probably. So I think we're good to move on to the outline next. But I'm just going to quickly clean off the page a little, as well as maybe wash my hands because I got a lot of um, the eraser parts on my fingers as well as smudges from the pencil. And we don't want to get these smudgy fingerprints on that ball over our page. So I'll be back in a second. All right, I'm back now. So let's see. I think now we should be good to move on to the outlining. Yeah, we're probably good now. So we'll just put a few minor changes. All right, so get your outline off. There's not much we need to rub out, just maybe this line. And we'll probably do the rest after we outline. So, yeah, so now we're just gonna outline everything. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll be outlining everything. Yeah, and don't forget to put the little dot inside his pupil there. And that's it, all right. Alright, so 
That's it with the outlining. Now I'm just gonna let this dry a little. And once and yeah, once it's dried, probably in about again five minutes as usual, I'll come back to draw um to rub out all the pencils. So if you're drawing along with me, I suggest you do that as well. Alright. So done with the rubbing out, and now we can move on to coloring in. So first off we'll start off sorry, not first off we'll start off. No. Um, first we'll start off with the head. So with the head there the only thing we actually need to do is shading. Um oh right, I also forgot to um I forgot to say but we're gonna that I had to fill in the inside of the mouth and the eyes. And also forgot to do um, to fill in this part, so I'll just do that now. So, as I was saying, uh, we're gonna need to um, shade behind a little behind the ears and uh, a little down at the bottom of the head as well as some shading on the horns and the and um underneath the horns a little bit in a few certain places um so yeah that's the only thing we have to do to color in the head and then we'll move on to the robe That's really it with the head, not much to do there. So now with the robe. So, um, actually no. Before we do that, we'll do the little thing. So we'll start with the necklace. So with the necklace, just um, grab the red and fill in the heart. And then fill in the little circles with the um, goldish yellow color. Maybe we could try to do a bit of shading on that last bead on the necklace there. I don't know. Um, it doesn't really matter. Ooh. I only just realized that I didn't actually call the inside of the mouth. I accidentally filled it in. So, mind blank there. We won't be needing this anymore unless you haven't filled it in. Go do that. Um... All right, but anyway, uh, so the color that I said we're gonna fill in here and the shapes inside is the light purple. So we'll use the light purple to also also color in the um, outside of the. I have I actually have no idea what you call this thing. Um, I don't actually know at all. I don't have a single clue, so I'm just calling it the frill. So fill this in as well, and out while we're at it, we'll also fill in this and the shapes inside it. Actually, try getting the purple, and um, we'll try putting a bit of shading on it. I'm sorry for not saying these things earlier, but since I don't have a direct reference, I have to kind of make it up as I go. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But um, we'll try putting a bit of shading. Use one of the purples to put a bit of shading here at the bottom. Like so. And we'll do, we'll do the same at, um, with the bottom of this thing.
that seems good. And now, um, all right, I'm trying to guess what color. So so far, I've been thinking that I'd make the um, the sleeves white. It was that's what it looks like, but I'm not entirely sure what color it'd be. So I'm thinking whether I should keep it white or maybe make it purple. All right, um, I'm not entirely sure. We'll probably keep it white, except instead of making it look like just what it looks like with its head, um, we'll use the shading, we'll use this bluish color for the shading to make it look like it's kind of bluish, but mostly white. Um, but we'll do that later. First, we're gonna do the robe. So first we'll fill in this part because um, the inside of the frill is the same as the robe. And we're gonna be putting some shading on the robe. So we have the two purples here, the light and the dark. No, oh, they're both dark purple, but we have the darker dark purple. And the darker one will be for inside here. So we'll use also this for the shading of the um for the shading of the robe, as well as to fill in inside it. So the shading for, of the robe will mostly be underneath the head and maybe a bit underneath the necklace as well as a bit at the bottom and inside. So that should be it and also behind the ears a little. So yeah. Okay, so, yeah, that seems about right. So now we'll use this color that we've been using to shade to fill in this part, and there will be no shading in this um, area. And then I'll move on to putting some shading on the sleeves. And I don't know what's been going on with me, I can't think straight but I forgot to do the shading for the hands and feet, which we'll be using the gray for, and then we should be done with the drawing. So let's do it. All right, um, that's everything. Everything is done. I also put some 
three lines in the horns because these are goat horns after all. So I did that and that's it. It's complete. Asriel Dreamer. You know what? I'm gonna use this pencil because I haven't used it this episode and I took it out anyway, but I accidentally filled in the mouth of the black, so I'll use this to write his name. Asriel Dreamer. Alright. And since I drew it a bit on the left, I'm gonna probably use scissors to cut that um, little side out. But that's it. So be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this Undertale episode. And be sure to subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date to future Pokemon drawing tutorials and sometimes other stuff, as well as my Pokemon old hair playthrough which I have recently started, only got one episode of that so far, and my Pokemon Y2 Randomizer Nuzlocke series. So, I will see you in the next video.